Hey, good morning. It's PJ and Joe. She's over there in front of me. Ando. Out and about on the recumbents. And right now we're at the end of the uh, 31st Street bike lane. And we're uh, jumping onto the Foothills Trail. This trail goes right by the entrance to the Garden of the God. It goes under uh, Gateway Road, which is the road you would use to uh, get into the park itself. There's the uh, little chapel over there. Be nice someday if they ever uh, paved that over there, you know, so it'll be a little easier to get over there. But, yeah, we uh, were actually gonna go south today and uh, on, on the Pike Speed Greenway at least for a little bit, but we got to, to the Nevada Street underpass. Man, there was six to eight inches of mud and water, so uh, we turned around. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we've got really bad smoke from the uh, fires up in Oregon and Canada. Uh, it, 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 it's a real bummer, you know. It, it's been pretty rainy lately. And uh, so, you know, it looked like, okay, we're, you know, we've got a week of really good weather. You know, not to, you know, ambulance going by on 30th Street. But, uh, yeah, you know, we've got a week of really good weather. And of course, it has to get ruined by smoke. It's just such a bummer. But there's some of the sandstone sculptures, or, or you know, rock sculptures. And the one on the end here, uh, I guess it would be the, if you were facing it, it you'd be the right side. Up on top there, you know, this camera's not going to show it, but there's two little heads, and it looks like they're kissing each other, and that's the kissing camels. Rock formation. It's funny, too, because to me, if you really take a, a look at it, the way the rock... The way the rocks form at the end, on the right side, makes it look like two giant camels, uh, you know, that, that kneel down on the ground. Or I guess maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> it was just my imagination running away with me. That's the uh, parking lot for the Garden of the Gods. They do have other ways to uh, do it besides your car. Uh, there is a bicycle lane all the way around the park. And the max speed is supposed to be 20 miles an hour, but you do have to be real careful in the touristy season, which is right now, because you know people all of a sudden want to see something and they just pull over in your way. So you do have to be a little careful, but it's not as bad as I made it sound, really. It's pretty safe. And they said it goes around the entire interior of the Garden of the Gods. Yeah, we're coming up on the... underpass here. Used to be, you used to get on it to keep on the trail. This trail we're on is the Foothills Trail. And to stay on this trail, you had to... Uh, you had to go up and go to the street, and then you had to wait for traffic. I 
and you can see there's a uh, a, sh a shuttle that come that goes from the uh, uh, the visitor center, which is on the other side of 30th Street. Oh, thank you, folks. Appreciate that. Have a great day. Thanks you too. Excuse us. Yeah, so this is the new underpass. Ole, 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 ole. The official Doozer Tunnel song. As you can see, City of Colorado Springs Park and Rec Department. And over this way is the uh, Visitor center, but we're not going to mess with that today. Howdy. Hello. He just clocked. Hi. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh man. Serious scouting. Hello there. I'm going to flip over here real quick. Just because it's cool. It's so funny. Somebody didn't like the uh, the idea of the Garden of the Gods, so they came in the middle of the night and they uh, they took the S off of the Garden of the Gods, so it was Garden of the God. Yeah, like I said, uh, there's another underpass right there, and that'll take you up to the visitor center on uh, 30th Street. So. So it's, it's kind of nice because you know you don't have there is an actual bike lane on it, so you don't have to uh, you know you don't have to get up on the street at all to go to the visitor center. And where we went under in that first tunnel was the uh, that's the overpass. That's the main road that uh, goes back into the Garden of the Gods City Park. It's actually a city park. Yeah, uh, an interesting fact, uh, if you've seen us do videos before, you've heard this fact, but uh, just uh, for those have, that haven't, uh, Garden of the Gods is a city park that was donated mostly by the founder, General William Jackson Palmer, and then a bunch of it was from the uh, Perkins family which uh, owns a, a large uh, Dodge dealership here in uh, Dodge Jeep and, and that new thing, the, the Stella or whatever it is that uh, Chrysler is owned by now. And they deeded the center part that they call the garden area. But the really cool fact is that there's only one other park that has more people show up to visit in the world, and that is Yellowstone National Park. And now you think, oh, wait a minute, what about Glacier and, and uh, the Teton? And well, well, no, believe it or not, the Garden of the Gods actually gets more people every year. And it's pretty amazing when you think it's, you know, it's a city park, you know. It doesn't belong to the state or, or, or the federal government. do a little climbing here so
Gotta give Jill a little room. My level three is a little stronger than her level three, but her level one and two are a little stronger than my level one and two, especially her one. Her one is definitely stronger than mine. Of course, I had it switched because originally they set this up because uh, my Bafang, which is a 500 watt uh, e-assist motor, uh, cadence sensing type motor, uh, is uh, was originally set up for levels one through five, but it actually has nine levels. This is a hiking trail here only. No bikes past this point. And that's cool, you know, I'm, I mean, they need to have trails just for hikers. And they have, you know, some mountain bike trails that are just for mountain bikes. I mean, you know, it is Colorado, you know, gotta be, mountain bikes have to get love here, okay? Except for uh, Marion, Marion Valley, California, where, where, where the idea of mountain bikes actually uh, started back in the 70s. Uh, there really isn't any, uh, really isn't any, any other state that uh, does mountain bike trails like Colorado. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good mountain bike trails and, you know, other places, but Colorado is definitely the home. Yeah, we got, we got an incline here. And this is where my cadence sensing. Anybody coming? Okay. All right. All right. I was. Oh man! Don't stop. Oh, you blew it. Now I can't even move. Hello. Howdy. Have a good day. Oh man. This is hard on the system. Yeah, because uh like I said, uh my Joe has a rear hub motor and it's a torque sensing motor, but I've just noticed that uh my cadence sensing motor is a lot stronger when it when you're really getting on the angles. Otherwise, you know, on the flats, I think hers is actually a little stronger than mine. But, uh... Get it back down to one. But that was level three, and she was in level three. And uh, you saw how easy it was for me to pass her, you know? So, like I said, you know, a lot of people say they don't like the cadence sensing units, but I'm very impressed with it. It takes a while to get used to it though. I, I, I do agree to that. Because at first it just seems like it comes on really extra strong. Then after a while you get to where you kind of know exactly, you know, when to put pressure, when not. One thing I really like about it is that basically I get a little kick in any, you know, in, in any gear I'm in uh, within a quarter turn of the pedals of the cranks, you know. So if you're on a steep hill and, you know, you only got to get a quarter a turn, you know, make that, make the trike go a quarter a turn and boom, you've got you've got a little kick that gets you up over the hill. Where otherwise, you know, you kind of have to gorilla it, you know? And that ain't easy. This is a, you know, more, I think this is the, the their religious thing called the Navigators. I think this is their headquarters right here, or at least part of it. And then back in there, I believe, is the Glen Airy Mansion, and the Glen Airy Mansion was where the the fa uh, where William Jackson Palmer, General William Jackson Palmer, I have to give him his proper rank, uh, 
where he lived and uh, his house is basically pretty close to a castle <laughs> it's it, it's quite something I've only been there once and that was a long time ago okay now we're gonna come to a uh, a very low bridge but the nice thing about it is being in a trike you're even lower howdy down in to kick it up to three on the e assist level and down to my 30 tooth uh, cog on the rear coming through just be careful because they have a big downhill and you have a big uphill so and so they'll kind of they'll just kind of whiz you know Okay, come on baby, catch in, catch in. And there it is. That sweet little boost. <laughs> yep. Okay. That, when you head that way, that is the uh, Palmer Mesa Trail, if I remember, or, or just Mesa Trail, one of the two. I've heard both ways. But you go this way, and you're on the... Uh, you're still on the Foothills Trail. And this will take you over to uh, 30th Street. Well, 30th Street and Garden of the Gods Road. And then you... Uh, then you pick up uh, the Sitton Trail. And that'll take you back down well, basically you'll head east on the Sentin Trail, right along uh, Garden of the Gods Road. Which, like I've said before, is always funny to me because it's called the Garden of the Gods Road, and yet it doesn't go to the Garden of the Gods. <laughs> it dead ends here at, uh, at least I think it dead ends, at uh, 30th Street. And then you pick up 30th Street, and that takes you over to the entrance of the Garden of the Gods and the Visitor Center. So, yeah, don't let the, if you're from out of state and you come up here, don't let the, you know, you get off the interstate at the Garden of the Gods Road, you know, exit. Well, don't let it fool you. <laughs> That's not going to take you clear to the Garden of the Gods. You just have to follow it up to 30th Street, uh, hang a left, and then uh, look for the uh, Visitor Center on the, uh, yeah, I see you're going that way, so I think it would be Yeah, it'd be the left side of 30th Street and then just down from that is the new uh, uh, Traffic circle roundabout whatever you want to call it That uh, takes you into onto Gateway Road and into the Garden of the Gods City Park itself. Yeah, sadly this trail really needs some love. This part of it, you know. The concrete over, you know, in the park is great, but uh, this stuff here is really rough, man. It's just rough. Especially if you don't have suspension, which we don't. I will tell you that uh, when you're having to climb these climbs, this is one of those things that has the false summit. You know, you think, oh, I'm at the top. And guess what? You're not. <laughs> See, quarter return, there's that kick. That is just so nice. Now, sometimes you can get in trouble because I, there, there's like, like when you're starting out like that, you don't want to try to shift the gear. It, 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 it will, you know, you'll catch your chain and it will go to chunk uh, really badly. So, all right. Well, now we get to go downhill, which is what we call reward. Uphill is payback. Downhill is reward. 
that's right along 30th Street there. I think, yeah, okay, now this is the actual headquarters for the Navigators, that religious group. Has to deal with the, with kids, I think. But I'm not sure what that other building was. It might be just part another part of it, you know. But uh, I guess it's quite huge. I don't know much about it. Some of you uh, folks out there with, uh, you know, Christian teenagers uh, that, you know, are a little more serious into it. Uh, you'll have to uh, let me know what Navigators is really all about. Okay. All right, I'm gonna drop my camera here just a little bit. Sorry for any noises because it's pretty steep here on the downhill and I really need to have both brakes. Like I said, we're still on the Foothills Trail going right by uh, out here. Going right by uh, 30th Street here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I was gonna let that guy go, but since he's being nice about it. And when people are being nice, you gotta take them up on it. Okay. So now you are all pretty familiar with uh, if you follow this channel. So now we're at 30th Street and Garden of the Gods Road, and we change from the foothills to the Sinton Trail. And that up there is the uh, Red Leg Brewery. Uh, if you want a beer, it's a good place for it. They also have several different little uh, restaurants that are in, uh, uh, kind of cool, they're, they're in shipping containers, basically. You know, railroad type shipping containers. And uh, there's like a pizza place, a hamburger place, uh, there's a lobster place, uh, Sasquatch homemade cookies. Uh, so there's several things over here. Uh, Criterion Bike Shop has a, has a rental, uh, bike rental place, e-bike rental place over there. That's their, their evening their evening covered uh, patio and that's the uh, actual brewery I think they only make beer here some of the breweries here in Colorado Springs make uh, make both beer and, and, and whiskey but I think they're only beer Now, Joe and I don't drink alcohol, so we don't really know about the popularity of, of Red Lake Brewer Brewery, but it, it does seem to be pretty popular. And I couldn't tell you any of the names of their brews. Some of the ones at the uh, old Ivy Wild School uh, brew pub, uh, they've been around forever, you, you know. I'm sure you've heard of Fat Tire, Laughing Lab, uh, Beehive, yeah. So those are just, I think those are just kind of famous. That's the only reason I know them. That, and we have been over there a couple of times to, uh, uh, there's a pretty good barbecue place over there. Yeah, so we've been over there. This is just a, it's a double wide sidewalk, but it's considered part of the trail. So, and we're going to end up going straight down instead of picking up uh, Sinton Trail. Uh, because uh, they've got the Sinton Trail closed at, uh, at Elliston Street and I-25. Howdy. And uh, so we can't go that way. So we're going to, like I said, when we get to uh, the point, I'll show you where the turn, around, the, the turn point is to get to... Uh, get to Sinton. Howdy, again. But, uh, yeah, one great thing about trikes is we can go as slow as anybody. Passing on your left. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is the Arrows West Visitors area. I'm gonna stop right here and let. Oh, okay. He's gonna. Thank you, sir. This is the uh, Space Foundation Discovery Center here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. So, uh, never had the pleasure of going. I hear it's quite cool. They have a lot of, you know, hands-on stuff. But it's funny, you know. I'm a native of Colorado Springs, Colorado. And yet, there's several tourist attractions that uh, I've never been to. I've never been to Cave of the Winds. I've never been to the the, the space uh, uh, discovery. Now, Joe's uh, sister Barb and her excellent husband uh, Rick took us to the. Okay, now this is where you would turn to keep going on the Sinton Trail. Okay, and that will take you down that way. And the Sinton Trail goes clear over, you know, clear down to uh, when it isn't blocked off, goes clear down to. Uh, uh, the Pike Street Greenway. But, so we're gonna stop the video here and we'll pick it up a little later when we get down to the Greenway. All right? Okay. We will get back to you. Bye for now. Well, hello. We're back. And, uh, it's, uh, been kind of a really smoky day again because of the forest fires in uh, Canada and uh, Oregon and we just happen to be in the air current so it's just coming right down on Colorado so uh, we're uh, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, Joe's uh, you know a little more susceptible to this kind of stuff so we're gonna just head head back to the shed and uh, but uh, yeah it's good to get out you know last week it was real rainy okay um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you uh, kind of how we get home first we have to climb up this uh, half of this incline here and this is the uh, Templeton Gap from the uh, Pikes Peak Greenway and we're gonna turn off here and get the uh, Get on to the uh, Cascade Street bike lane. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let this van driver go by here. Give Joe a minute to catch up. So yeah, so kind of giving you uh, Got a nail here, Joe, watch it. Kind of giving you the, uh, how we get home, or how we get back to the uh, storage unit. Look here. So like I said, we're fortunate, we were fortunate to find out that uh, they'd uh, made this bike lane go all the way down here. It's a shame there's a portion of Cascade Street by us that doesn't have a bike lane. And that's a real bummer because you have to get there to cross uh, cross Fillmore Street and that's uh, but uh, so we kind of go in the back way <laughs> so we uh, uh, from uh, from Garden of the Gods Road you know, the double sidewalk we pick the uh, Pikes Peak Greenway up again and uh, then picked up the uh, Templeton Gap or T Gap Trail, as we call it here. Nobody likes saying Templeton, I guess. And uh, so it's usually shortened to the T Gap. So if you hear T Gap, that's what it means is, is the Templeton Trail. But yeah, like I said, this is just the street. Cascade, uh, I don't know what's Cascade Street or Cascade Avenue. I don't know, what the hey. It's Cascade, that I know. But, uh, 
Yeah. Check out that. Check out that perfectly round boulder over there. That's pretty wild. That's a construction company of some sort. Yeah, the only bad thing about bike lanes here in Colorado Springs is that uh, the city won't sweep them. Well, sometimes they will if you ask, but you have to ask. The other bad thing is like that right there. There's trucks and cars a lot of times parked in the bike lane. So, and, and we come up that side, you know, to pick up the, the T-Gap trail. But yeah, Cascade Street's pretty busy. We got a semi coming. Yeah. Them critters make a lot of noise. <laughs> they really do. But, uh, yeah, uh, I didn't record, you know, the, the, the Greenway because uh, you're going to see that on tonight's video. <laughs> so I figured you guys didn't need to see it again. So, uh, thought I'd do this. Show you how we, uh, how we actually get back to the storage area. As you can see, lots of junk, rocks, garbage. I'll ask them to sweep it. And sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. So, just have to go with the flow, you know. At least it's a bike lane. Because, uh, like I said, it's a fairly busy street, so it would be a bit on the rough side. Uh, you know, we'd be blocking traffic a lot. But we'd have to, you know, like jam it up to, you know, level five and just haul butt, you know. Which is not really our thing. It's not that we're scared of going fast. It's just not us. Now they got both the uh, number nine and the 19 bus that come down Cascade Street and uh, head back up to Nevada. We're gonna turn here on uh, Buchanan Street. So our storage unit is back down this way. Uh, this is a very rough road. Buchanan Street is very rough. It's got lots of holes and divots. Like somebody's doing a, a hatchet job on the trees over here. Boy, I'll tell you, that's a shame. Guess they decided to take that all out. And there's several. Uh, there's several businesses and uh, small manufacturing firms down here. As you can see, this semi is probably dropping off. Uh, oh, I don't know which one that is. That's not Excalibur Manufacturing, but there's several like construction companies and uh, you know water companies and all kinds of stuff like that. I don't know where this guy is going, so we're just gonna get out of his way. Trying to back up into that that lot, man. Well, I tell you, it ain't easy. They really got the poor guy at an angle. These truck drivers are amazing. I mean, they are. How what they can do? <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, this this you know this this smoke in the air. You know, it's just beating on the sinuses for both of us. That's why we kind of decided to. Uh, call it a day and it, it's it's hot you know I mean, it's mid 80s today so and the next two days is supposed to be low 90s so it's even going to get warmer this guy's just having a heck of a time here he's not as good as some of them some of them just whip that sucker right back in there man like it's nothing but i admire anybody that can do that because to be honest with you i i'm a terrible backer upper okay i mean absolutely pathetic so uh Go ahead and get all the uh, necessaries out of the way. Uh, thanks for uh, coming along for the ride. Uh, we would really appreciate uh, if you'd uh, 
like us, you know, give us a big thumbs up and, uh, and uh, share the videos with anybody you think uh, might be interested. And if you uh, want to be notified of our next video uh, on Out and About on the Recumbents, uh, basically on the YouTube page itself, you'll see a little bell logo shaped like a bell. Click on that. And if you do, you'll be automatically notified when our next uh, video is, uh, you know, released. Because it usually takes me a day to put the video together. Uh, sometimes I can rack it out in the afternoon, but sometimes I can't. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he really needs to get done. He's blocking traffic. Come on, dude. Yeah, I agree. But, uh, yeah. So, from uh, BJ and Joe, we're the Ondos. That's O-N-D-O. And, uh, and if you, just, just so you'll know, it's Hungarian, in case you ever had the question. Uh, I have no idea how, how heavily Hungarian it is, but to my understanding, it's Hungarian. So, uh, yeah. As usual, you know, we're, uh, you know, it's enough to be on your way. It's enough just to cover ground. It's enough to be moving on. And hopefully, this guy will get this thing backed up and we can actually do that. <laughs> he's, he's not very good because I've seen you know, a lot of semi drivers do that a lot faster. He must be, must be fairly new. He, he still can't get that thing in there. He needs to have somebody backing him up. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we can sneak by here and let this truck go. Oh, he's turning. Okay. All right. This is real bumpy right here. Lots of holes. Yeah, make sure there's nobody sneaking around here on us. No, doesn't look like it. So we'll sneak around. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Hold on, hold on. So yeah, then we're gonna go here and run over here. We're gonna make a take a right turn on Karen Lane, and that'll take us into the uh, storage area. And then we have to go all the way to the back of the storage area. Squeak Services, I like that. That's a cool name. <laughs> Plumber truck. But yeah, one thing we do like about this place is it's way back in here. So, you know, people, people won't even know it's here. You always got these people that gotta pass you, boy. I mean, they got to pass you. Doing some blacktop over here. Yeah. So here we go. Colorado Springs self storage. Nice people. And without a doubt, the best rates in town. And that's not that's no BO. I mean I mean I mean no BS, sorry about that. Uh, they do have the best rates in town. That's uh, one of the reasons we're here. Go ahead, Joe. I'll let you hit the what you call it. But yeah, we've uh, got a uh, real nice, you know, corner 10 by 10. And uh, super nice because it fits both trikes and the trailer. So we don't have to all the trailer you know if we, if we want to go get groceries it's already here so that's great i mean that is great yeah i mean it's not that it's heavy or anything it's super light i mean 
the whole body's aluminum, you know, so. The only steel on it is the steel strappings that, uh, that I put on it to stabilize the tub and also uh, I use those as cross members and I use U-bolts uh, through holes in the uh, bottom of the tub, put a couple of big metal washers on it, you know, so uh, it's not, you know, going to dig through the plastic and uh, then uh, then uh, bolt it down with wing nuts so that way if I want to take it off really quick well, I'm going to come up and then come back into the shade here because not much shade except for like right here in front of these uh, the bigger units here so we'll slide in here that way we don't have to do everything in the in the heavy sunlight. I'm going to move up a little bit because we can go in a little further if we uh, use the doorway. That gets us completely out of the sun. All right. So, again, thanks for coming along. We appreciate it. We really appreciate our subscribers. You guys and gals are totally awesome. And... Uh, we do, we do these videos for us and our, our great grandkids, if nobody else. But it's kind of cool that, you know, somebody watches what we do. All right. Well, till next time, happy trails, man. Bye for now.